We had a beautiful sail from Calabash Bay to Rum Key. The winds were good and the seas were calm-ish. We're at Rum Key. It's uh, ridiculously beautiful here with the sunset. But we're a little disappointed with the reef. Um, not many fish and most of the coral looks like it's dead. It's a bit sad. They got ruined by the hurricane. Hopefully it comes back. The next morning we left Rum Key for Cat Island. Getting in and out of the north side of Rum Key is like a minefield. The coral heads stretch over 5 nautical miles and some of them are over 20 feet high. After a lot of zigzagging, we were finally on our way. Not all fun and games. I'm looking for a leak. Okay. We're losing coolant like crazy. We saw red coolant escaping through our exhaust, which meant we had a leak in our heat exchange. It was a slow leak and there were no options for local repair, so we decided to buy loads of distilled water, minimize engine use, and keep an eye on it. Yankee's not feeling well. Really worried about him. We noticed a change in Herky's behavior the night we arrived at Rum Key. He ate normally after the journey, but then vomited it up and became listless. Our cats aren't young. Herky is 14 and Jazz is at least 15. We knew there was the possibility that they might not finish this journey with us, but we wanted to give them an adventure in their golden years. And plus, we couldn't leave them behind. Cruising to remote islands is wonderful. However, one trade-off is the lack of facilities. It was really heartbreaking knowing we couldn't quickly get Herky to a vet to ease his suffering. We're on Cat Island. Looking for a vet for Herky because he's having some troubles. But unfortunately there are no vets on Cat Island. So we have to wait till we are a little further north before we can um, take him somewhere. Yeah, but we just left Georgetown. We were there for like three weeks and there's an animal clinic. And we just left Long Island and there was an animal clinic there too. <laughs> we're on like the one island that doesn't have a clinic. Herky's condition quickly deteriorated. He became lethargic and hadn't eaten or passed urine in over 24 hours. He was vomiting bile constantly and would occasionally caterwaul in pain. He had stopped purring and wasn't his normal happy self. After much discussion amongst ourselves and clinics in Nassau, we decided to try and fly Herky into Nassau for emergency treatment. We decided that I would go with Herky and Greg would stay with the boat and Jazz. So I had to be there at 3 to check in, but um... They don't provide a shuttle anymore from New Bite. They do provide one, but it's not free. You have to pay. Yeah. So I don't know if it's cheaper to rent a car okay. from here because we'll have to get to New Bite anyways, right? Yeah. The flight to NASA was complicated as we were anchored at Port Howe, which is in the south end of Cat Island. The flight departed from Arthurtown, which is on the north side, a two hour drive away. We met wonderful people who assisted us in finding transportation to the airport. Kevin from the DZL General Store, Elza, Seymour, and Danny from the Cat Island Humane Society all worked together to get Herky to Nassau. On the horizon and a chill on the breeze. Take his first ride. We're alone here, but don't you be scared. I've got a calloused hand of farmer's tan, and I'm happy to share. You and I will both get by. Just promise you won't stray. 
All that I need is some dirt and a seed And I will feed you till the summer blows away The people at Sky Bahamas were wonderful. They let me stay with Herky until we boarded. He was the last thing loaded into the cargo area and the first to be unloaded in Nassau. Little Tomcat, don't be afraid when there's a stirring in the meadow or a noise in the shade. I'll defend you and lead you from harm. If you should find yourself in peril, I will guard you in my arms. You and I will both get by Just promise you won't stray All that I need is some dirt and a seed And I will feed you till the summer blows away The staff at the Happy Pets Animal Clinic picked us up from the airport and treated Herky immediately. They x-rayed him for struvite crystals, inserted a catheter, and hooked him up to an IV to rehydrate him. Good morning. I'm waiting on the vet to get back to me about how Perky's doing, and just waiting on them to pick me up. Uh, I ended up staying at an Airbnb last night, last minute, but I definitely made up for the money by taking two ridiculously long and hot showers um, hand washing my clothes and then using the hand dryer to help dry them in the morning. So, uh, fingers crossed that everything is okay and I can see my kitty soon. The wonderful people at the clinic gave me privileged access so I could be with Herky. They encouraged me to take him out of his kennel so he could walk around and become more comfortable with his surroundings. The clinic does a lot of pro bono work, neutering and spaying several stray cats and dogs every week. Special thanks to Dr. Allen, Tamika, and the staff who drove me everywhere while I was in New Providence and took care of me just as well as they took care of Herky. All that I need is some dirt and a seed And I will feed you till the summer blows Diana and Herky are off the boat, it's just Jazz and I, so I'm going to single handle the boat around the tip of Cat Island. Uh, it's about a four hour trip and I need to follow the track we came in on because it was very shallow. So I will uh, bring up the charts and follow our route in so that we know we can get out without hitting any of the uh, beautiful coral around here. I learned to walk when I was one beneath the Oklahoma sun and from that day I started taking my own route I learned to read when I was two and I believed it all was true too young to fill my mind with questions and with doubt I made my first friend when I was three but by four he moved away so very far from me At five I wondered why People live and people die And why the things I love Just slowly slipped away from me And only stars remain the same Cold night Starlight we are not alone Cold night, starlight We are not alone We're together on our own I have successfully anchored up after my soloing I had to look up some knots Diana and I have different jobs that we do on the boat and uh, generally Diana does all the knot tying so I had to read a book to work out what I was meant to do but um, yeah it worked out well. Uh, anchoring was, was a really easy, um, a lot of running around but there's hardly much, hardly any winds today so it's not, uh, yeah it's not, not difficult. But uh, all in all I had a really good time and Jazz, Jazz was there for moral support so yeah. Jenna Bird's on her way in. Should be able to see her shortly.
After two days at the clinic, Herky and I were ready to go home. Herky charmed everyone at the airport on the way back to Cat Island, and the ground staff allowed me to take Herky in the cabin with me. His carrier wasn't designed for aircraft and didn't fit in the appropriate storage space. I'm pretty sure what we did was illegal, but I was happy to have him with me, and I appreciated their support. We're gonna go on one quick dinghy ride. To catch somebody. Maybe get ready to catch Jazz just in case, okay? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Becky, you're home. Hey. Are you happy to be back? I see a bit. He hasn't been walking that much lately. Aww. And he also might have to go to the washroom. We were so relieved knowing that Herky was no longer in pain and that he could continue on our journey with us. Unfortunately, Herky was incontinent for a few days and Jazz kept hissing at him because he smelled like the vet. But it was great having our home full of kitties again. We were lucky to have anchored at Old Bite in front of Rolly's Resorts. The owner, Carl, had organized for his wife Yvonne to pick me up from the airport and bring me back to the boat. It was incredible to see the amount of people who came together to help Herky. We are forever grateful for the beautiful communities in the Bahamas.